Horrifying moment. How Russia lost thousands of special forces and combat equipment in Avdivka. When Ukrainian forces led by the high-tech 47th Mechanized Brigade attacked Russian positions in Zaporizhia Oblast in southern Ukraine in early June, they immediately ran into unexpectedly dense Russian minefields. In five months of hard fighting, the Ukrainians advanced just 10 or a dozen miles along three main axes, liberating some key settlements and even breaching the outermost line of the main Russian fortification in Zaporizhia. But they did it while defying historical precedent. Traditionally, an attacking force should expect to lose three times as many troops and weapons as the defending force loses. Instead, in Zaporizhia, the Ukrainians fought the Russians to a draw. Meanwhile, in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast, a very different fight raged. Starting on Oct. 10, a multi-brigade Russian force under the 2nd Combined Arms Army attacked toward Avdivka, a Ukrainian stronghold garrisoned by the 110th Mechanized Brigade and later, the redeploying 47th Brigade. In the first four weeks of their Avdivka campaign, the Russians lost 14 times as many vehicles as the Ukrainians did. Like the Ukrainians in Zaporizhia, the Russians in Donetsk defied history, but they defied it by suffering much greater relative losses than attacking armies usually do. Open-source intelligence analysts who tally losses on both sides of Russia's 22-month wider war on Ukraine by scouring social media for photos and videos of destroyed, damaged, abandoned and captured hardware have counted through Nuvern 10 518. Ukrainian vehicle losses in Zaporizhia versus 600 Russian losses. In and around Avdivka through Nuvin 10, the same analysts have counted 16 Ukrainian vehicle losses versus 221 Russian losses. Aerial footage shared by General Oleksandr Tarnavsky, commander of Ukraine's Tavria Operational Strategic Group, on Monday show destroyed and smoking Russian vehicles in fields near Avdivka, along with what appeared to be dead Russian soldiers. The video, filmed by Ukraine's 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade, also contains footage filmed from a drone as it approaches and then hits a Russian armored vehicle, as well as huge fires and billowing smoke coming from the remains of some tanks. The video is part of a wealth of footage that has emerged from the heavy fighting around Avdivka, a strategic town in eastern Ukraine that acts as a gateway to Russia-occupied Ukraine. Ukraine recaptured the village from Russian forces in September, and Russia launched a major attack on it on October 10th, in what the UK Ministry of Defense said was likely Russia's most serious offensive operation since at least January. Ukraine said Russia's goal was to encircle the town, but that it has so far not been able to do so. Instead, while Russia has made some progress, it hasn't seen any major breakthroughs and has reportedly suffered huge losses of troops and equipment. Ukraine has claimed that Russia lost more than 6,000 soldiers and over 400 armored vehicles there in just one week last month. It isn't possible to verify its figures. And the White House said that Russia has seen heavy losses near Avdivka without giving specific figures and that it had been executing soldiers who are refusing to follow orders there. The UK MOD, at the end of October, described Russia's actions in Avdivka as a major offensive effort and said that elements of eight brigades that Russia had committed to the fight had likely suffered some of Russia's highest casualty rates of 2023 so far. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday said that Russia is already losing soldiers and equipment near Avdivka faster and on a larger scale than, for example, near Bakhmut. The Battle of Bakhmut is considered the longest and bloodiest in Russia's invasion.
Riley Bailey, a Russia expert who works at the Institute for the Study of War, previously told Business Insider that Russia's major tank and vehicle losses at Avdiivka show Russia hasn't learned a lesson about how to properly conduct mechanized maneuver warfare. Instead, he said, it is repeating mistakes it made earlier in the invasion. Ukrainian units fighting in Avdivka say they are inflicting significant damage on Russian forces there. The 53rd Separate Mechanized Brigade on Sunday described it as a mass suicide action by Russia and said hundreds of Russian soldiers had been killed. Meanwhile, the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade said last week that in three weeks of fighting, Russia had lost hundreds of tanks and 250 units of other armored equipment. Even so, the fighting is ongoing, and Ukraine said Russia this week has only intensified its attacks. Плотная посадка за железкой. Вот она идет. Другой готовый. Первый залпом, один шутин. Три, да. Три, да. Три! Ага! Ага! Пострел! Пострел!